hey, how in the world are you guys doing? So um, I just wanted to pop on here and say what is up. Gosh, I haven't been on um, in a few days, I think. I don't even remember the last time I was on, but I wanted to pop on and say what's up, give you guys kind of a quick rundown on what's going on. What's up, Jason? Dude, how in the world are you, man? Good to see you. Robert Brooker is in the house. What's going on, brother? Glenn, what's up, dude? So, man, I have got so many things that I am juggling right now. It's crazy. Blessed beyond belief. Blessed beyond belief. Um, you know, recently back in um, uh, at Easter, we found an awesome, awesome church. Hey, Tim, how in the world are you? Good to see you, Tim. Um, <clears throat> We found this church, um, which we knew about, like we've lived in this house now for a couple of years, literally right next door to the pastors of this church, and we just haven't gone. And I have no good excuse. <laughs> I have no good excuse, except we normally like to let the little ones sleep in and we kind of lounge Sunday mornings a little bit. Um, well, on Easter, we went to church and um, they, they actually came over and invited us to go to church. And, and she's, she, I'm friends with both of them and on Facebook now. So they're probably going to see this and go, Ken, come on. So, um, so we, we started going to this church and it's amazing. It's absolutely a phenomenal church. And um, so now... Hey, Michael, how in the world are you, bro? Good to see you. It's a phenomenal church. We've been going to this church now, and it's um, it's so amazing what can happen just like that. I mean, <clears throat> I'm now helping them with all of their social media for the church, and man, I am just, um, I'm beyond grateful. We are, we are also... You know, I think most of you know that I, I rent this house that we live in. It's a beautiful, humongous, humongous, gorgeous house. Um, I've rented for a couple of years and I've become really, really dear friends with the, the doctor that owns this house. And he's actually a client of mine, too. And he calls me and he's like, um, hey, dude, I'm like, this doesn't sound good, man. You're not starting this off very well. He's like, man, we got to sell the house and, and I'm just not in a position to buy it yet. I'm just not there. And so, um, so like I said, of course, you know, I go into panic mode, like, oh no, what are we going to do? And we actually found another home, um, with a long-term lease and we have the first option of refusal to buy it. So, Hey, Damien Boudreaux, how in the world are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Hey, Shirley, how are you? So um, we found another doctor's house we're going to rent um, for a while. And what's going on, Sean? How are you? Linda, what's going on? And what's really cool about the new house, see, I think that, that God works in his time, not ours, right? Like I plan my plans. I let God handle the results. And, and so, you know, with this other house, is it like we live in a beautiful, I, I'm not taking anything away from the house we're in now because it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, but it sits on five acres and, you know, there's no sidewalks per se. Um, there's no really, there's not a lot of other kids and it's, it's a ginormous neighborhood. Um, so the new house that we're moving into has sidewalks. It's a neighborhood. There's a swimming pool. There's tennis courts. There's all of that stuff for my little girl to um, flourish with other children and, and, and um, socialize. So we're really excited. The last, um, hey, Josh, how, Josh, oh, is in the house. So um, the, the new house we're moving to. Um, we actually, we have both houses right now. So, um, <clears throat> I've been moving 
That's why I'm dressed like a hoodlum right now. Um, I I could put my my hoodie up and be all like gangster, but but no, we're so I've been um, I've been moving and it's a gorgeous house. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing, um, and and we're we're blessed beyond belief. I'm just I don't like to move. I'm not, I, I don't think I'm alone in that. <laughs> I don't know anybody that likes to move. Um, but, you know, hey, it's part of the deal. And and we're very, very grateful and, and, and looking forward to it. So um, we have been, good to see you too, Josh. It's good to be seen, you know, like it beats the alternative. So um, what's up? There's my brother, Doug. If you guys aren't following my brother Doug, you need to go follow him now. Dude's dude's amazing. He's a um I mean he's not as cool as I am, but <laughs> I'm kidding. He's my younger brother. He is a professional golfer. He is an insurance guy and he's 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 just a good dude. So um yeah, make sure you're following my brother. Olivia says, Oh, that's um um, Zeph, isn't it? Is that Zeph or your, is that your mom? Yes, God works in his timing. Yes, it's true. What's up, Adam? What's going on? It's all working out, Tim. It's all working out. It always does, man. Like I, um, like I said earlier, I just, um, <laughs> Michelle, you know all about moving and moving your, um, your, 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 um, what, why am I drawing a blank wedding gown store? <laughs> Is that right? I know, Doug. I know, man. My nephew just went to boot camp today. He went off to boot camp to the Navy. So send my nephew, his name is Zach. Send him your prayers and thoughts. He is, um, he's a good kid, man. Wow. He is so, so smart. Kid's going to go far in life. But but anyway, so, you know, I just want to hop on and um, oh, your mom's there too. Tell your mom I said hello. Um, just wanted to hop on and kind of give you, I haven't been on at, at all. Um, last week I had Andy Frasilla scheduled to be on the show. He had to cancel. Going to get him rebooked for probably mid-June to the end of June, somewhere in there. Um, but I do have a really awesome bridal store. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay hydrated. As soon as I hit live, go live, I pick this up and I'm like, Ugh, I'm out of water almost. So, but I have been, um, I've been hustling, man. And, and doing a lot of client work. We have got so many amazing projects going on. It's insane. So, um, listen, I am, I, I just want, like I said, I want to pop on for a minute and Hey, something else that's really cool is we're literally eight minutes from the other house. So I'm like going to say, you know, movers charge by the hour and I'm not, I'm not trying to be cheap, but I'm, I am, I am, um, what's the word frugal. So I'm like, I borrowed my brother-in-law's pickup truck and I'm, hey, Chuck Studebaker, and I'm loading it up. I'm taking all the boxes myself and cleaned out the basement. And oh my God. And guess what? One basement has to go to another basement, right? So there's a lot of stairs involved. Um, worst case, I'm getting in really, really good shape right now. Um, I moved our, our freezer from the garage and oh my gosh. So, um, <clears throat> you need to change your payment info for the wow formula. All right. We can chat about that, dude. I can help you with that. So, um, anyway, it's just been, what's up Channing Gardner? How you doing, man? So, so it's been a, um, it's been, it's been a, a lot of work. Um, I forgot I had some of the muscles that I currently am experiencing. So that's good. It's good. And you know, I got to tell you something. I was thinking about this earlier because I woke up today and I mean, I've been going every single day, moving a bunch of stuff and doing a lot of heavy lifting and, and, and working on projects on the computer here and on the phone and doing all kinds of different things. And I woke up today and I just felt, man, I don't, I felt stronger. And I'm like, you know, I, like it's crazy because I do work out as far as like push-ups and sit-ups and stuff like that. I don't go to the gym 
that's something else that's cool is our new house is literally two minutes from the gym that we have a membership at that I've paid for for quite a while and haven't used. So I'm going to start using that every day. So a lot of good stuff happening. And, and man, I'm telling you, like, I just feel like, you know, you get the body moving, you start, start working, you start like really like, cause everything that I do is on the computer, like for my, my, my company, like a, a lot of it's on the computer and the phones and stuff. So I'm not really, Hey, Ermelo blessings back to you, brother. So, um, you know, like I'm not used to to getting out there and, and doing physical labor like that. What's up, Brian Sharp? And, and uh, man, it's, it's diff, it's, it's way different. I can type, I don't even know how many words per minute, but man, like, like lifting a freezer, a deep freezer, a stand up heavy deep freezer up onto a truck with a dolly and all of that. You're working different muscle groups than you do typing on a keyboard. So there's that, you know, and the benefit is, man, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm really getting in some good shape. So, um, it's good. It's really good. God is good. God is good. And I'm telling you that I don't know if you're, if you, if you're going through anything, I have, I have a dear, dear friend that is going through something horrible right now. Um, she has to make a, what's up, Mark, how you doing? Um, and, and just send, send prayers to my friend, if you would. I don't want to mention her name, um, because she just is a private person. Um, but she has to, she, she has to make a decision about, um, a decision that not one single parent on this planet would ever want to have to make about her daughter. Um, just send, send prayers, send prayers, um, to her, to have the strength and the, um, the wisdom and the ability to make the call she has to make this week. And it's, it's, it's terrible. Um, I couldn't imagine having to make the call she has to make and, and it's a tough one. So, um, just send her some prayers, send her some love and send her some, ask her for, you know, for, for God's wisdom to be, um, surrounding her and her, her family. Cause, uh, you know, I don't want to go into any details, but man, y'all can, if, if you're, you're probably already have caught on to what decision that is that she has to make for her child. And, um, nobody wants to go through that ever. So, um, just send her some love and prayers if you would. So, Hey, is that, did I just see Joe Skelly come on? What's up, Joe Skelly? How you doing, man? Good to see you, bro. Um, so like I said, we're, we're very, very blessed right now. Um, what's up, James Rooker? How you doing, man? Um, very, very blessed. We are, um, in the midst of moving to a new home and um very excited about it and um you know i'm telling you that um oh surely that's horrible i'm so sorry to hear that couldn't imagine could not imagine and i think about you know i'm a recovered alcoholic with 17 years sober almost and 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 i think about the hell i put my my parents through and my family and my people that love me and cared about me. And wow, like I can't, I cannot imagine, can't imagine. So, um, anyway, you know, just wanted to give you guys a quick hello, say what's up and, um, say, look, I I've got a guest coming on the show Wednesday. I'm not going to announce it yet, but, but, um, thank you, Channing. I appreciate that. Not going to announce who it is yet, but it's a, uh, it, it, this dude's a rock star. Trust me. So, um, you'll enjoy this one. I promise you. And I wanted to say, Hey man, like, uh, you know, I, I, I'll tell you just in the last month or so, um, of finding a church 
and and I'm not preaching at you. I promise you, I'm not preaching at you. I'm the far, farthest or furthest. Is it furthest or farthest? Either way, I'm the farthest thing from that. But I'm telling you, it's really created a, um, I don't know, a new kind of something. I can't, I can't explain it. But being reconnected is um, really, really cool. It's really cool. So it's been good for my, my, my wife and my little girl. My little girl, actually, we drive anywhere near the church and she starts talking about it. She loves going to church. I mean, absolutely looks forward to it. Saturday, we drove past the church and she goes, Daddy, guess what tomorrow is? I'm like, wow. I go, yeah, it's Sunday. She goes, and what's on Sunday? I'm like, this this is cool, man. It's just really cool. It's been missing. Been missing. Got to give your kids some some spiritual growth. It's my, my truest belief. So anyway, um, look, I appreciate all of you. Love you all. Thank you for sending my friend prayers and love. And um, I agree with that, James. The Lord is awesome, man. So, um, you know, thank you for praying for my friend. She needs it. She needs a lot of prayer for for strength, for the strength to, um, to, to make the decision she has to make. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so y'all have a great, great, great night. And um, I'll be back on. I might do a live. Who wants me to do a live stream from the new house with no furniture in it yet? <laughs> I'll do it. Just ask and I'll do it. If I get enough people say yes, then I'll do I'm not doing it tonight because I'm not there, but uh, I will do it. But um, yeah, so <clears throat> let me know. And, and, and then, you know, Robert, if you want to talk offline, we can do that in Messenger or something. I can help you with that situation. Um, and then that's it. That's it. Do it. Yeah, I'll do it then. I'll do it. It's pretty cool. So, um, all right. I will um, catch you guys very, very soon. Thank you for jumping on here. Appreciate all of you. And look, man, you know, I, I got to say this. There are, there are people in this world who um, you care about that he's there safe is is he at the uh, same place you you went to boot camp Doug there are people that you care about and love that don't know that you care about them and love them and and just remember that we are all every single one of us does not we don't get out of here alive we are all going to this 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 flesh this dies man it's over one day it's going to be over and all the stuff that you're worried about all of the people you're you're angry at all of the people you're resentful toward all of the the fears you have about money or no money or 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 whatever all of that will come to a screeching halt the day that you take your last breath and you need to I'm proud of him. You got a proud uncle over here. You need to make sure that the people that, that are around you know that you love them and that you care for them. You need to make sure they know that. You need to make sure they know that because it may be your last chance to tell them. Not not want, The problem with the human ego is, my. this is my belief, I don't think the human ego understands the finality of that. And I don't think that the human ego understands that it is going to, like this flesh is going to die. It's going to be gone one day. I don't think the human ego understands that. So we go through life like, yeah, listen to this dude on here talking about this smack. I got appointments booked all day tomorrow. I'm going to go out and make $10,000 tomorrow. And I got some, some, some idiot on here telling me that I need to t make sure my loved ones know. And then boom, man, it could be a car accident. It could be anything. You don't know when it's coming. You don't know what time it's going to be. You don't know the day. You don't know the hour. You don't know if you're going to be, you know, 75, 95, 
or 25 when it happens. You don't know that, right? So make sure that you're giving life everything that you have and you're living in love, man, not in hate. Live in love, not in hatred. Let people around you know that you care about. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you love them. I'm telling you, I'm listening to my my friend that I've talked to on several occasions that has the situation that I'm asking you to pray for. And you don't need to know the details. God already knows. So just pray for that person that Ken was talking about. And 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 God, God okay, he knows. He knows. He knows everything, right? Like, like, hey God, you know that dude Ken Walls? Like he was talking about um you know, he'll know, he'll know. So just send some love and positive energy and man, hug your loved ones, hug them and love them. You guys have a great night. Love you too, Robert. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Robert said, so true. Look at my father. Great one day and dead the next. Right, dude. You never know. And I know a lot of people like that, man. I know a lot of people. I care about you too, Chuck. I love you, bro. So, like, you never know when it's going to happen. You don't know. And I've seen a lot of, man, we all have. We, we've all seen it. But I've seen a lot of, 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 you know, I've seen a lot of death. I've seen a lot of sadness in my life. And, and it sucks, man. So make sure that the ones that you care about know. Make sure they know. So you guys, listen. Have a great night. A great night. Plan your plans, man. Plan your plans, but let God worry about the results. Don't get all caught up in the results. Plan your plans. And don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. The, the, you know, the money, I get, you know, I, I love what money can do. I absolutely love what money can do. We cannot have a great life without and help and help a lot of other people without money. It's not possible. <clears throat> but I chase something different than the money and the money comes. When I'm chasing something different than money, when I'm chasing something that's a vision, when I'm chasing something that's greatness, when I'm chasing something that I'm trying to deliver on a massive scale to customers and clients of mine, and I'm just loving them as best as I possibly can and giving it my all, when I'm doing that, the money comes. You don't have to worry about the money. It just comes. So listen, I appreciate all of you. Love you all. And I will talk to you soon. If you just jumped on, go watch the replay. And if not, that's okay. I still love you. It's all good. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys all very soon. Peace out. <laughs>